Okay, Dan, so let's start element E. Let's make our way out to the bikes. So while we're out on the road, Dan, obviously I'm going to give you instructions as we go around. You're going to lead the way. I will keep those instructions as clear but as brief as I can, all right? All I ask is just ride for yourself, okay? Don't worry about what I'm doing. I'm going to be moving around all over the place trying to see what you're doing, okay? And I might not necessarily be in the safest position for you, okay? So ride for yourself, all right? If we get separated, so be it, okay? The, the range on the radios will obviously go quite far. If we get really separated, I'll ask you to pull in somewhere. All right, simple as that. If in doubt, just keep following the road ahead. All right, um, take your time. Dare I say, enjoy it. You know, there's absolutely no rush. Um, your L plates are on, so people will, will understand. Obviously, you're a learner. You're just starting out, and we'll go from there. Okay, you've got any questions whatsoever? Uh, I don't know the area. That's okay, you don't need to know the area. <laughs> Just keep following the road ahead and I'll give you instructions as we go, all right? Um, yeah, enjoy, mate, all right? If I ever take you at any point, I should mention, if I ever take you at any point, then follow me to a stop, okay? We might have lost communication or something like that, okay? And uh, we'll pull over and get it sorted. And of course, if you feel you need to pull over at any point, by all means do so. As long as it's somewhere safe, no halfway around a roundabout or double yellow lines or anything like that, just pull over somewhere safe and uh, we'll sort out whatever it is. Okay, fantastic, okay? Hop aboard. Okay, so observations, and away we go. And we're starting with a left at the end of the row, please, left. So just getting that indicator off for me, cancel your indicator, lovely and following the road ahead so like i said we'll just give you a few minutes just to get into the swing of it it's looking good mate we're out here as we follow the road round here just making sure we don't get too close to these parked cars just in case they open the door on you but also you don't want to end up on the wrong side of the road and that's it just come across a bit more lovely just finding that balance Okay, so at the end of the road, just like the car in front there, we're going to be taking a right, taking a right in. So just hold fire for a second, don't indicate too early. So as we approach, we'll be checking the mirrors now, getting that right indicator on. Just position yourself over to the right for me. That's better, lovely. Now chances are we're going to have to stop on this one. There's normally parked vehicles blocking our view. So take your time, like I said, don't stare at the curb, look up the road. Excellent. And getting that indicator cancelled. So we're approaching our first roundabout together. So let's keep it simple. We're going to take the first exit left, please. First exit left towards the town centre. So yeah, good check of the mirrors. Left indicator's going on. Okay, so you still just nice and calmly restart, double check your observations. Excellent, just follow the road ahead, I'll catch you up very shortly. Don't forget to cancel your indicator and if we can work our way up towards 30 miles an hour please. So we're approaching some traffic lights. We're going to continue straight ahead, please. Straight ahead of the lights. So we'll just join that queue of traffic there. So just rolling off nice and early, nice and steady. And working your way to a stop. Okay, so just get some observations in for me. And away we go. Just before that blue car that's parked up on the left there, we're taking the next left. So again, a quick check of the mirrors, indicate when appropriate, and just position yourself over to the left. Now we're joining a one-way road there, one-way road. It's a fairly uh, busy looking residential area, I suppose. So again, just taking extra care for any pedestrians that might be coming running between the vehicles, any kids that might be running around. forgetting your indicator. Lovely. 
at the end of this road if we can take a left please left so do everything as normal check your mirrors get that indicator on now there is the possibility here of making progress so start getting your right checks in if you're in the correct gear you might not have to stop good nicely done and around we go So we would have liked to have seen a right shoulder check there before you pulled away. Now there is a cycle lane on there on our left, so when we do pull away we're going to get a little left shoulder check in as well, just to be sure. Now we have got ourselves a little bit of a hill start here, so you're going to need extra revs and just be super steady with that clutch. In fact I'm going to drag my clutch so long it won't even be all the way out till I'm somewhere near that traffic light. Observations. So while we're out here on the road, we have got uh, three required manoeuvres, one of which is a hill start. So there we go, you've officially done one. We're going to go and find ourselves a nice big hill and do an official one, don't worry. Good, it's nice to see you checking your mirrors as we go along, just constantly scanning, being aware of things that are happening. Very nice. So, by the Volkswagen garage, just where that white car's gone, we're going to take the next right, please, the next right. Now, it is major to minor, so again, check in the mirrors, get that right indicator on, get a little lifesaver in, just position yourself over to the right, it's quite a wide road. And remember, before you commit to that turn, just throw in a final lifesaver, round about now, and then around you go when you're happy. Good. Okay, so you're effectively doing a hill start. Extra rev, super slow with the clutch. Unlucky, just hold that biting point for a bit longer. Beautiful. Just pull up on the left. Beautiful. So what I want to do here is our U-turn. So just like we practiced at the shop, okay, obviously the difference being you're on a real road now. So you're going to check over your shoulder, you're going to pull away using your slow control, throw in that final lifesaver and bring it round without uh, falling off, without hitting the kerb. You do your observations once you're happy, around we go. Okay, so we'll try that again, the pressures of the road, that's quite normal, don't worry. So uh, same again, shoulder checks, lifesaver. Good, that was better. Excellent, right, follow the road ahead. We're going to take a left just there, mate. To check our mirrors let's work our way up the speed here it's 60 mile an hour along this road now you just work your way up as you're comfortable whenever you're ready so just going to hold the bike on the rear brake so it doesn't roll backwards obviously plenty of revs and just hold that biting point for longer than you normally would and obviously release the brake once you've felt the biting point kick in so whenever you're ready So for the emergency stop, I'm going to pull out here, take a left. You'll see me parked up further on at the road. If you, when I, when I call you, if you just come out of here, take a left, just like before, ride towards me, see my hand go up, get yourself stopped as quickly, but as safely as you can, all right? 
just aim for, I mean it's a 30 mile an hour road so aim for high 20s to 30, there's no pressure, um, just don't forget those observations when you stop alright? Cool. Let's see if we can smash this out in one. So I'll give you a shout in a sec. Right, back to the shop. Let's go. Okay, Dan, congratulations. You have completed the CBT. You can have completed all the required elements, including uh, over two hours on the road. Shall we uh, get you a certificate? Yes, thank you. Let's go. Okay Dan, so here is your CBT certificate or DL196. Now, if you were 16, I'd be telling you that you can ride a 50cc, all right? As you're over 17, you can ride up to a 125cc machine. It can be manual or automatic, okay? You can go anywhere in the whole country you like, as long as you're not using a motorway, all right? You can't ride on motorways because you've got to have L plates, all right? You've got to have them displayed front and rear. Uh, you also cannot carry any passengers at this point, all right? Now, if you choose to go no further and just continue riding around on the 125, you'll be renewing this again in two years time. Um, I think after discussions we've had, you're looking to take things a bit further, aren't you? So keep this safe. Um, when the time comes that you're ready to go to the next step, you'll be showing this to the examiner um, when it comes around to your practical test. So do keep it safe, okay? That is the certificate number in the top corner there. Your insurance company may very well ask you for that number or a copy of the certificate, okay? Um, please keep it safe. Although we have a carbon copy, we can write you out another one if you need be. Um, obviously, it's just a pain for you yeah, if you yeah. want to keep your bike on the road. So on top of your CBT certificate, here is a voucher for £50 off a new Lexmoto. Because we're a Lexmoto training school, we've stamped that for you there. If you take that into your uh, nearest Lexmoto dealer, then uh, they should give you £50 off the purchase of a new bike. Nice. But other than that, mate, just uh, yeah, keep taking it steady. The observations have been fantastic. Thank Enjoy you. the road. Thank you. So there it is, guys. I've got my £50 voucher and my CBT certificate. I just want to thank again Lexmo for having me here today. And also Lee and Morgan Motorcycles Training for actually doing my CBT. I mean, the bike itself is awesome. Massive fan. Great choice in my eyes. I think it was a good choice from the ones I got to pick. Um, if you want to know any more information on this particular bike or the bikes that we spoke about at the beginning, just let their website down below and go and check it out there. But yeah, I'm really happy. Thank you again.